everybody, it's Pumpkin, and today's the day that we're going to be stringing the lights in the uh, grotto. And if we get off, what is wrong with this? Molly told, yeah, what in the hell? Molly said there was something going on with this, but whoa. Anyway, we're going to be putting up the lights to the grotto and hopefully get to hanging all of the wall decorations and um, yeah, kind of get it all pulled together today. So let's get to it and see how far we get. Hopefully we get it all done and she can hang out at the pool or something later. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh. Why do we have to grow these things? It just creeps up on you, doesn't it? Hey everybody, it is Saturday, May 30th, and I all I managed to do yesterday was get that furniture assembled that took all day. And uh, it's hot today, but we are working on the grotto because, you know, weekends are short. And I want to... I want to do some uh, relaxing things too. You know, a little crafting. It, it can't all be about work. And not that it's grueling work mentally. It's fun mentally. It's grueling physically because it is so hot out there. Um, I did make a good decision on putting those last pieces of furniture together inside the apartment with the air conditioning but we're doing lights today and can't do that inside but I've got my ladder and I um, uh, thank you for the comment about the um, command strips Jennifer Roberts had sent me a whole bunch of different types of command strips I don't know a year or two ago and I had used a bunch of them for cords and stuff, but she had sent me some little ones that are going to be perfect for this, I think. So thank you for the uh, person, and I'm sorry, I forgot who it was who said, who recommended that, but I have them on hand. So we're going we're gonna to attempt that because what I tried the other day with the uh, yard stick and duct tape, that did not hold up. Everything fell down within two days. So, um it's going to be hotter than blazes, like I said, so we're not going to be worrying about hair and makeup. This is yesterday's makeup. Yeah, I, I know. I still left it on, but we're not even showering before this because there's really no point. Um, but, yeah. So, let me get you all set up out there, and we'll get started with hanging those lights. Yeah. Okay. Itchy. Okay. All right. Uno momento, por favor. All right, I, I think that'll work as far as being able to see what I'm doing. We're going to start with the first string going this way. We're going to... I put nails in the concrete along here before I was reminded command strip. So they're already up. We're going to leave that alone. I'm going to be stringing these long ropes across the ceiling. We might want them to kind of wave a little bit here and there. So the uh, the command strips with the hooks and stuff. And if I can figure out, now that I can get my head up there, if I can figure out where the seams are in this um, siding, the paneling, to use like wire hangers or something, that would be good too. Um, if I can get it fairly secure, that would be great because we do have hurricanes here and high winds and stuff and don't really want it all coming ripping down. But, you know, if it does, then hopefully they don't get damaged and you just hang them back up. But 
let's get started. I also don't want to wash that in order for the command strips to stick because I'm sure it's filthy. There's little pieces of duct tape stuck up there from my first attempt, but we're just going to, you know, do the best we can, 95%. All right, let me get my ladder all set up and excuse what I'm wearing and everything because, you know, it's hot out and I need to do laundry. So hopefully we don't show any naughty bits. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I started by kicking you. Okay. I have learned that uh, feet will hurt like heck if you're standing on a ladder without shoes on. It's better to wear tennis shoes than flip-flops, but it's way too hot for tennis shoes. So we're going to be doing flip-flops on the ladder. And I have a uh, very nice old 20-year-old little giant ladder from back when I used to be a uh, a professional painter. Okay, let's start right here. Right, and let's uh, move some of this furniture out of the way a little bit. Sorry for the noise out there. I don't know what somebody's doing. Some kind of some kind of project out there. So let's see here. Let me start by just checking out what the ceiling situation is. Because I only have a limited number of those uh, command strips. And let's get you backed up a little bit more here. I think. There we go. Okay. is uh, where we can, we'll use um, wire tucked up in there. They only have, you know, a limited amount of the little command hooks. We'll use those for places where there's no seam. So let me grab that real quick. All right, so she thought I abandoned her out here. I grabbed a few things. Try different things now because you know salt water and rust. Um, I have aluminum wire. Aluminum doesn't rust, I believe, right? There's paper clips, but those are going to rust. I think. Don't want to be leaving rust stains all over the ceiling and have to pay a security deposit or lose my security deposit. And then. I have, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul, that jewelry board I had, I had used these S-hooks, I'm not sure what they're made of, I think aluminum, and I think aluminum is not magnetic, right? So if I try a magnet and they don't pick it up, then that, I don't know, that's just an educated guess or uneducated guess. So. Let me try a magnet on them and see if they're magnetized. Oh, it'll be picked up with a magnet. Yeah, they're metal that just, uh, it'll pick up with a magnet, but eh, we'll see. It is just plastic, so rust should come off with a little wink. But we're gonna try a few things, see what works best. We'll, we'll try. And I have my handy dandy little, uh, little dish that Heck, I've already sent me. It's a magnetized dish to keep everything from falling all over the place. Okay. Try that. Try that. 
like this. And then these are the little, little hooks that I have from Jennifer that I thought would work. Those are all ready to go. So we're just going to experiment and see what works best. Start with this and and we have those. Okay. Hey Jasmine, you might want to move so I don't pinch your tail in the ladder. Let's see how. Let's
so the aluminum wire. Tuck it up in there. So that's what I'm doing. Put everything else I don't need away. Okay. So the S hooks were too thick. And I'm just using a um, flat putty knife to wedge in there to pull the uh, vinyl siding loose in the seam. And then taking a maybe a three or four inch piece of aluminum wire. And what I did was I just tucked one end into that seam till it got it maybe an inch in looping it around my um, lights and then tucking the second end in to that seam so that I just have a little loop hanging out and that's how I did that so I think now I'll try and zoom you in so you can kind of see me actually do it and then we'll probably time lapse me going back and forth and back and forth. So let me get you set up here.
All right, I'm hot and sweaty. I'm gonna take a little breather, but uh, got to, got it to the halfway point here, and then these long ribbons hanging down. Those are gonna see. I'm kind of carrying them and let them kind of hang down. We'll just once we have the second set up, see where everything goes. All right, let's let's take a let's take ten. Okay, I'm exhausted, but it's done. A few long ends hanging down here and there, and it's just kind of a jumbled mess at the top. There is actually some rhyme or reason to it, but we will uh, see what it looks like at night. On video, it looks like they're blinking. They're not. They're steady. In uh, in reality, I might bring that one up a little. That seems a little long, but we'll see how it looks once we put the fishing net in. Because I might run it through there a little. But there you go. It's uh, whew, that's exhausting. And I ordered some Instacart. It's going to be here in 10 minutes for my groceries. So I get some more soda, and I ordered a box of wine. Okay, that took all day. I might still be wearing the clothes from yesterday, which is really kind of gross, but hopefully you'll forgive me. I am going to take a shower. I got a box of wine from Instacart. It's chilling in the fridge. We'll take a shower. It's like a little after five. Maybe go see if we can find some dolphins. But the grotto's done as far as what I have on hand. You want to see a tour? It's still daylight, so it won't have the same effect as, you know, evening, but we'll come back to it. All right, let's go, let's go check it out. I'm really happy with it. Doesn't it just 
even look cute from in here. Okay, well, let's go see it. You guys made all of this possible. It's all gifts from you guys. Everything. Everything out here, except those posters. <laughs> and that's the boat that Jan had sent me, Heck Iver. Jasmine's freaking out because I left her in the house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait till it starts to close. Come on. Okay, so this is just like a, a webby mess, but my whole point was I wanted kind of little strands trailing down here and there to give it that grotto feel. And uh, way back in the very, very beginning when I bought this painting and I had thought about putting it out by our pool, well, in here, it's pretty unlikely that the rain's gonna run that far sideways to get it all wet. But she's also been sealed. But perfect colors. Ties everything together. And then I've got all these little adorable things that you guys have sent me. And it's just so cozy and nautical. I I'm probably will rearrange the furniture several times, but for now, this is this is the arrangement I came up with. Still giving Jasmine a perch to, you know, check out the path down there. But uh, yeah, I think it looks great. I even put a little butterfly in my door knocker because <laughs> I'm I'm a dork. I love it. Oh, I was gonna hang that chalkboard back up there and then maybe write something on it with a chalkboard pen. All right, well, we'll see how this looks tonight. There's seven modes for these lights. I, I don't like rapidly flashing, but it does have kind of that slow um, fade in and out and with two strings all kind of mixed and crisscrossing. Hopefully that'll kind of just give it that nice, slow, soothing motion. Otherwise we'll stick with um, steady burn. But uh, that's, that's what we have for the grotto so far. Thank you all so very much. I absolutely love it and it just feels more like a home than an apartment with having this private little oasis for me to sit back and look at the water and hope for dolphins to go by. All right, now, I, I gotta say though, while I was out there, um, up there, putting up the lights, somebody came trolling in in their boat, parked it in the middle, and then proceeded to play with their their RC boat, going around and around and around their boat. And it just struck me as funny because you're going to play with a little toy boat when you're sitting in a real boat. Why don't you go take your real boat for a ride around and around the bay? But, you know, whatever. Kid at heart. Okay. It's time for a shower. I am gross. All right. The sun just went down. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. We should go outside and see what it looks like from down on the ground. Yeah, let's check it out. I like it.
like it. I like it a lot. Don't you want to go go hang out with whoever lives up there? It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go back in the house. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I just want to hang out here now all day. Which has been made possible with a box of wine. And those ice packs from the cheese. Yeah, we hung on to those. They're in the freezer. And shove those down our shirt and stay cool. Yeah, yeah. Make do with what you have on a limited budget. Okay. Um, thank you again, everybody. You all made this possible. And it is a dream lanai. Raised lanai. I don't know. Balcony, patio. What would you call this? I don't know. But anyway, thank you all. Love you. Bye.